Hello folks, the Celtic Nerd here bringing you another nerdy video. I am just, let me just open up my Twitch video uh, producer function so I can properly be ready to edit the name of the video and get ready to export it. Looks like uh, uh, I have my Polaris. Oh, I do not have the camera charger. Yes. I thought I had everything ready and charging for tonight. I have to charge uh, my camera. Make sure the. Mirror in, yep. Uh, we're almost good to go. Just have to make sure it's charged. Looking up, I have a thing that allows me to charge uh, three things simultaneously. Alright, there we go. I see the red light. That means it is charging. So. I should leave then for about, headphones are apparently finished charging, their light went off, but just to be safe, I'm gonna give uh, the headphones, actually I'm just gonna leave everything charging for the next few hours, just to be ready. All right, but we're, I'm so, oh. Well, I, I got some great news, folks. I am even now closer to getting my own place. I'm not gonna go into the details, but, oh, just so close. <clears throat> it's, uh, I just have to wait now a couple more weeks uh, for, for uh, the, uh, to get more definite news. I'm still waiting on to, to hear back from that thing. <laughs> Hopefully I will hear back from them. But yeah, now if I can get myself an unfurnished apartment, apartment like it'll be just amazing. The total customization. Like I'm gonna get, I'm gonna see if I have any friends. I ha I'm gonna see if I can get on Etsy. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get uh, what's it called a modified sword rack for my Polaris's. It'll be a nice little place where I can you know put them that down. Possibly even look like <coughs> have them you know, there when they're charging. Also, I can't wait to actually display this. Actually, I don't think I actually posted a video or anything about it. Oh, uh, you know, I'm just gonna put my control actually on the floor. Um, actually, no, you know, I can put it on my desk. There's this little space on the right there. Uh, I should really also plug my phone in while I'm up. Anyone who has watched my channel for a substantial amount of time, or even even so much as lightly navigates my channel, will know I have a love for sword fighting. You know, a love for swords. You know, my favorite swords are ninjatos. But uh, ideally, uh, if I was to have a ninjato, it will be single-edged. Well, obviously, uh, Ninjato is singlet, but uh, the length of the weapon would be a hand and a half, which is the class of uh, swords that's in between two-handed and one-handed. The generally the the length of the blade is not too long; it's a bit shorter than a two-handed sword, but the hilt 
is generally designed to accommodate two hands. And the idea of that type of sword is like they're designed so that you have a bit more versatility. You can be one handed with a shield, or if you need the extra swing power, you can, you know, two hand it. But when I was at Comic Con with Lewis for Ireland, we, we, I was given about an hour or so of walking around the convention, you know, take pictures, you know, all that stuff. I did not post any of those pictures, I really should on my Instagram. But one of the things I got was a replica weapon. I've always said, all my friends, I've always said the same thing. If I was to have a replica sword from one of my many fandoms, <laughs> We're talking Bleach, One Piece, uh, even Kingdom Hearts, because you can get replica Keyblades. Um, there are several uh, fantasy swords I would want to get, right? And that includes, that doesn't just, just include anime, that also includes like Lord of Rings, Game of Thrones. Oh, I would love to have um, uh, uh, the sword uh, that was wielded by John. You're an opportunist. Every map is a treasure map. I can't remember the name of John's uh, sword, but I would love to have that as well. But the very first one I would want is Ichigo's. Now, as you can probably tell by the fact that you still cannot see it, I do not have Ichigo's Shikai. I don't even have his uh, true Bankai. I got Ichigo's um, Zangetsu. Um, there were some questions uh, by some of my uh, by Lewis War members who are not familiar with Bleach because of a certain iconography that appears on the hilt. I'm not going to fully show it. Uh, I'm not going to fully show it on uh, what's it called just to show it to you guys. Uh, like, I'm not, I'm not going to fully show it. Maybe if I decide, I'll show you. Uh, there you go. Uh, because I don't want my channel to be flagged. But yeah, it is really nice. And uh, it is wooden, as you can well expect. Like, I wouldn't fight with this, obviously. They're, they're meant to be displayed. So, like, um, maybe I'll eventually do a cosplay or a Halloween costume dressed as Hollow Ichigo or Ichigo with his um, hollow mask. But yeah, what? so yeah, I would love to have this thing on display. I've actually been having it in the wardrobe because as we're doing house viewings and all that, I don't want I don't want them looking at the hilt and without the context, you know. Um, I would assume most people here would probably I uh, probably have over in my apartment uh, would have the context because they know me. Um, my mom, looking enough, I, towards Comic-Con, I gave my mom the context. I was like, oh, I'm not going to buy anything too big, because, uh, you know, it'll be another thing I have to pack away, you know, and generally, the replica, if I was to buy a replica weapon, it would be first Ichigo's Bankai, and I gave her the explanation, and the fact that they used, they used the symbol not for that sense, Ooh, but they used the symbol in the sense of, you know, the Buddhist uh, belief, which is that uh, it's a symbol of immortality or power or even luck. So, she was like, oh, okay. You can't catch me! I'm the Mushroom Man! I run through the forest as fast as I can, picking and snatching delicious shrooms! Got to be quick or it spells your doom! But I'm very nimble. I'll never get eaten. Oh, there's a juicy mushroom. I'll just... Ah! Ah! No! Teeth! Teeth! Ah! Okay. Orange, he's got nothing on you. <laughs> Sorry, that was just really weird. Okay. Um... But yeah, so my mom had, looking enough, my mother had the context when I walked home with it. Uh, I had to put it in hilt first in my gym bag on the way home, on the Lewis, because, again, context is everything, and as you can well imagine, again, like there were loads of people on the Lewis for Comic Con, and all that, like, um, going to and from it, like, 
But like, still though, I don't want to have to have an after conversation about that symbol, you know? So, what I still find interesting is I heard that like the symbol might be something I guess I understand the context. So, I know the situation is a bit even with, uh, when people try to explain the context, it still gets, you know, messy. Like, hell, look at, um, Pokemon Go, like, Alright, listen up. Here's the deal. There's a weird little creature in the dankness who's got a need for teeth. A lot of teeth. And since you're so good at knocking the crap out of things, I think it's right up your alley, Tomonachi. Like, there is the, the, the fail of context in terms of um, Pokemon Go. What's that yonder? Page, baby. Before I forget, I'll finish what I'm saying. Um, there, like, there was a priest that I was saying Pokemon Go is, you know, you release the demons in your area. Like, I was like, what? Then there's the whole D D uh, fiasco. Like, so. Ugh. Mushrooms are dreadful, or so I've been told. Not to tangle with toadstools, nor mingle with mold. For the rest of that poem, simply walk your little leggy legs to the tavern and break I like that how we don't we don't get the full poem. We have to actually go and talk to a poet to get it like that. I mean, mm, towards the end, when I'm gonna actually get all of them, I'm actually gonna have a special video where we're just gonna sit down and listen to all of them. Alright, we, well, we collected a decent amount of items, so we're just going to do our markings. Why was that favored? I love this like eerie music that's going on constantly in the background of this place. But yeah, um, there's, there's a bunch of stuff I want. I would love to get for my when I get my own place. Uh, again, ideally the place would be unfurnished because that way I don't have to worry about moving stuff around and all that.
best place to bury my loot is. I'm like a squirrel. And uh, we got here. Finally. I don't know why I didn't get me out here. Like, we can hear for like... So that's one thing that sort of annoys me is we're being charged like so much for these items and yet I'm getting so little from it all of this. Oh hey, are you metal enough to help us? I'm Sinistrella, front woman for talents of bone flesh. Hail Zygaxis! Praise be unto his dark mane. Basically, we're the most metal band in the world. World, but our outfits and instruments could definitely be more model. More spikes and horns and stuff. We were hoping you could help with that. Let's go with a natural material, like wood. But it's gotta be like evil wood from an evil tree. You get me? I guess I've seen things more far fetched than an evil tree. Yeah. There's supposed to be this wicked evil tree somewhere in the forest. See if you can find it. You really need some new super metal style gear. I can't say I'm not curious. Man, we're gonna look and sound so sick with this new gear. We'll show those posers in Flagrant Apocalypse who's the most metal. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that! <laughs> Snivelly crap stain! Yeah, I hope you did! You thin skinned, rich, full metal wannabe!
close and personal with its evil allies. Whoa! Is that tree like bleeding? That is so metal! So, so metal. Wait, is the wood still bleeding even after it's been off the tree? How does that work? And for that matter, how does a tree even bleed in the first place? None of this makes any sense at all. Did you miss all the spooky ambiance I haven't seen sent for y'all? It's an evil tree, dum dum dum. It does <laughs> evil crap. Like bleed all the time. Forever. It's right there in the Botanicus Maleficarum. Don't you know anything about evil plants? I do not. <laughs> Ooh, sweet. Once again, I'm getting. <laughs> uh, and these tank god guns are not like geared towards certain uh, things. But otherwise, I would be getting increasingly annoyed. Set my inventory. So I did. But no, I didn't. 
Lady Infernum Kazoon. I got this. Oh yeah? Well, we just raise the dead. Top that whiny sack of diarrhea. I will. I just need the adventurer's help first. Ugh, fine. Go help him. This should be amusing. We're Playground Apocalypse, and you've probably heard of us. We're like legendarily metal, but like, I can't believe you actually helped those loser sellouts in Talents of Bone Flesh. But look, <laughs> I can show them up with some real dark magic. I stole this page out of my mom's, out of this powerful witch's grimoire. It's a spell called the Hellhammer. I just need you to gather the magical reagents. Here, take it. I'm gonna, like, guess that I don't need to explain any of this stuff to an adventurer of your caliber. <laughs> Even though I totally, definitely know the actual reagents needed for them. <laughs> I did try to conduct this spell with some clever substitutions at home, but all it did was overcook my breakfast pastry. <laughs> I tried to use my older brother's chess club trophy. God, I'm such a freaking wimp. I hate him so much! No! Do you have any idea who I think I am? Right, so... This way, I think. And the way this brings us right here.
Hold on, that was the whole... I suppose this means the other band is lost metal by elimination. Huh. We, that was the deadly hollow symbol. The triangle, the circle, and then the line. Hey, so uh, what just happened over there? They were casting a spell, you see. Then they were immolated entirely. Do you know what this means, guys? We are officially the most metal band in the world! We are so metal. Super metal! There's only one thing left to do. The most metal thing of all. Let me give you your reward, adventurer. For your services to the most metal band in the world, we give you the ultimate reward! To be a human sacrifice to our dark demonic lord Zagoxus! Until they tried to kill me? Yeah, that'll happen around here. Now, the first thing we have to do is find the Shape or Grimoire so you can recite my true name. Meet me in Brattle. 
And he teleports away in a demonically magical boot. Wait, Ziggy Wits. He's already gone, Boo. But why doesn't he just tell us his true name? Uh, because that's not how demons work. Brett, back me up, girl. That is indeed not how demons work. See? Told you, dummy. Oh, we do. Uh, we might as well teleport back then. Let's go to Brighton. Must go eat again. Go pour my drink. Sorry, folks, just I have not been awake long. shop in the tavern. I'm gonna go buy them. What have the gods Smell of my nice homemade lasagna is making me really, really hungry. Oh, I just have to tell you. You're the one who killed my host, so you're gonna help me find a new one. Now here's the deal. There's a coven which meets in the catacombs beneath the city. To call them witches would be uh, generous. They are mostly bored house husbands and housewives with too much time on their hands. Basically, they're always trying and failing to summon demons. But they have somehow managed to acquire the shape born grimoire. You will need to get it back. Huh. How shall we proceed? As you may have noticed, there's a big piss off gate in the way. Go get it open. Guessing you knew that would happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. So listen, I can get this thing open, but I'll need to channel my powers through a host, namely you. But you're a little too goody-goody for that right now. I couldn't possess you even if I wanted to. Which I don't. Good people are so icky inside. How about we rub a little shine off that soul of yours, huh? Go do some bad stuff. Why not stop by scamming some town folk hooves out of the money? That'll be fun. Ooh, that sounds kind of icky. What if we did something slightly less evil, like, um, cutting in line? Like Access Ponders, your well done suggestion. Ah, uh, fine. I suppose that's evil adjacent. Just so I'm clear, we're doing bad stuff at the behest of a demon? This feels out of character for us. Come on, Brett, live a little. Y'all want that <laughs> sweet reward, don't you? Then play along. <sighs> fine. But I'm not changing my character's alignment over this. We'll call it a mulligan. What the hell is a mulligan? Yeah, is that some sort of spell I haven't heard of or something? No, it's... 
Never mind. Let's do the con. No. There you go. Took away time. But okay, but the important thing is, is uh, now that I spent all that money, there's uh, more loot I can carry, which means we can sell more loot, which means more money. I'm just here collecting donations. Donations? Donations? Oh, I hate charity. It's all a scam. I'll show you what I do to scummy donation takers. to Habitat for Insanity. They're building affordable, non-Euclidean housing for Eldritch Gods getting back on their feet. Hmm. All right. You're lucky I'm also exceedingly wealthy with a kind and generous heart. Here you go. Guess all hard work paid off. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Working hard to fool you. Bump up our spell world, dark magic. Oh yeah, hair point. So at 10% then we can get another 12, so we can get the 22% decrease in spell cooldown. I'm afraid I can't come to the door because I despise human interaction. Hey, I get it. <laughs> But would you be willing to donate to charity? Oh, this is already unbearable. I can feel my skull crawling just hearing you talk. If I give you money, will you go away? Yeah, I can do that. Here, now, please go and stop talking to me. <laughs> well done. Well done. Keep at it. Next, I want you to paint my demonic sigil around the town to increase my power. And deal with any gods that try to stop you. Or, or, and hear me out, what if we played a prank on someone, huh? How about that? <sighs> you do you, Bill. in there. Deal with that later. Oi! I won't be having no demonic sigils painted in my town! funny that we've now committed murder twice during this quest and apparently it's still it's it's not enough
do that puzzle? Did we not? Oh, okay. Oh, delightful! I can feel power growing! You've done well. Finally, I want you to find these annoying lovers who are always spouting infuriating pet names at each other. And kill them! Okay, that's one idea. But what if we were to instead say, ignore a keep off the brand sign? Huh? Huh? Are you kidding? Sorry, that melee damage crit chance thing, but it is a big boost to my thing. So now we'll. And we might as well activate this wall right out. There's one. There's one. There's one. Over there, which bounces us up. Jump across. Okay. Out of my way. Out the of my next way. one is over there. So we just jump across. Up here. Down over here. Onto this pipe. Getting really good sniper rifles. <laughs> Damn, I don't. Ah, uh, this guy does not really use them. To be honest, I probably would use them. I um, like again, like back when we had the classic uh, manufacturing uh, goals. Sorry, uh, challenges. What I used to do is, I used to, you know, just take any gun from the same from the manufacturer, just for the sole purposes of... Oh. Did that attack us? Okay. So, can't hurt it. Okay. <laughs> yes, finally! I tell you, I couldn't listen to one more second of that drivel. Oh, oh, am I right? It's so disgusting. I can't believe we just did that. Hey, everybody's gotta go sometime, some way. What? <laughs> That'll do just fine, adventurer. I think you're probably wicked enough to host my demonic personage. Come back to me so we can get this gate open. One thing I'm surprised by is, like, I know from the trailer, um, most likely the bard we're going to see is um, Torque. And we still had, you know, the whole butt stuff you think. One thing I'm a bit surprised by is we have yet to see other Borderlands characters represented. Here we go. Open your heart, soul, to the darkness. Dikath, ma nagitomia, disparte, gaginoth. Oh, 
this feeling at all. Oh, get over it! Now then, approach the gate! There we are! Now, a boss <laughs> Secret switches. It must be hidden nearby. There's some I can interact with. There's a D20. Damn it, I don't... Your pronunciation is terrible! How are we supposed to summon a proper demon when you insist on pronouncing it Urgax? When it is clearly written right there, Urgax Sitte. The deep dark suffers no light does not bring... Stop right there! Who dares interrupt our dark machinations? Don't worry, I got this. I am the dread god known to the common tongue as... I'm Gaxis. You will hand over the Shadeborn Grimoire to this, my fleshy vessel, or I will summon forth the forces of the deep dark that serve us no light to eviscerate your unworthy bodies. Do not test me. Hmm, no, I don't think I will be doing that. For one thing, I don't believe you. For another, Who's ever heard of Zygaxis? Um, I have. Yeah, me too. Two arms, Acolytes! Very well! You have sealed your own strength! You want to do some force or something? Keep going for some of no light! Well, here they are!
bullet wire. To be a protagonist. You saved us! Listen, I'm Vic, and those crazy coven wannabes were gonna sacrifice me and the other folks in here. We owe you everything! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now repeat after me. Example Grok, Nestat, Interridum, Madoka! Oh, okay. Zebra don't just taste Interran Monaco. He's worthless. Dude, what? Oh! <sighs> Shut up! Somebody looking at us? Now bite him! Hey, are you gonna free me or whatever? That depends. Recite after me. Exavagra, Nestat, Interidem, Monoka! Sure. Except for Grog, Nestad. Hey, wait a minute. Are you trying to get me possessed or something? You've discovered our ruse. Actually, that sounds pretty boss. I'm into it. Except for Grog, Nestad, Interidum, Monocar. Now, Vaxen, are you prepared to host my essence? Totally, my dude. Fill me up. Very well, then. As your humble servant, I can't wait to see what kind of stuff we can do together. That's a good boy. Farewell, adventurer. I'm sure our paths will cross again. Eventually. I have mixed feelings about everything I've just done. Alright, well, at least we got a really good uh, gun out of it. Even if it doesn't deal dark magic. And we are just over time, so like, yeah, thank God. So, uh, folks, I'm gonna go sell all these items, take a brief little break, and then we'll be back with more Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I'm gonna try and get a good few videos done before I have to go to this for it. Uh, but yeah, I'm curious. Ooh. Got her shot. Uh, do, 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 do. So it actually tells you the statistics of all of them. So flesh, we deal a hundred and twenty-five percent increased damage. 
but 95% decrease in other things, particularly bone. So since we can actually get those type of details, let's see. Uh, okay, we're just 95, we're, at, we're down to 90% on everyone. So we deal 90% damage to enemies uh, across the board with uh, that. Which is not bad. Like... Now, 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 I can fix my own helmet. Mm -hmm. They are this passive-aggressive in the under... I do like the fact that you talk to the demolish. Anyway, as I said, I'm gonna, you know, quickly do all this, buy some upgrades, and then I'll be back. This is the Celtic Nerd, sign off, may the force be with you, and remember, roll for initiative.